Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video on Elgato Stream Deck. Now, the Stream Deck is generally speaking a piece of kit that's designed for streamers to use to engage with their audience, set up various commands for all sorts of bits of software, and much more to make life a lot easier and to do some cool things with. But one of the things that you can do with it is use it for video editing. If you look on my Stream Deck here, you'll see I have a button specifically for Vegas Pro and I'm going to show you the ways that I've been using it to edit my recent videos and I've actually found this makes life a lot easier and it's a really interesting way of using it. So if you press that Vegas Pro button it opens up a folder with a variety of commands in here. The top one is to open the program itself then I have special commands for things like inserting audio envelopes, multi-camera setups, markers, undo, cut, paste, save, split, trim the start of a track, trim the end of a track, and delete the track. Now I'm going to talk to you about how to set these up and how they're useful. The basic idea is simple enough. Basically what I'm doing is I'm creating shortcut buttons to make my life a lot simpler. A lot of these commands require two or more presses on the keyboard or clicks on the mouse usually in order to do them. For example, saving, which is something I like to do regularly, is control less on PC or click the little save icon on the window but I find the Vegas Pro sometimes crashes a bit too often for my liking which is a problem with a lot of video editing software so being able to quickly and easily press that save button on the stream deck while my fingers basically on it the whole time I'm editing anyway makes life a lot simpler than trying to press control less and taking my hand off the other buttons also things like splitting a track in half trimming the start of a track, trimming the end of a track and more is also very convenient and really useful. These commands are basic ones but you can add anything you like in in terms of more difficult commands to do that are multi-button or could try a lot of different shortcut presses. So here I'm going to show you the very basics of setting up these commands. Here you can see the profile within the Stream Deck software and I'm going to start a new one just to show you how you do this. Now the interesting thing about it is that you can create a folder as I've done and then you can create your commands within there but it's also worth noting that you can create a folder within a folder and a folder within a folder and a folder within that folder in this way so you just click to add a folder and then you can go in and in and in so you can create various commands in multiple levels to make things really interesting if you want to use lots and lots of different commands what I'm going to do to start off with is a basic command to open Vegas Pro up so I've gone into system settings and dragged over open and then you just click to open that file so you find it within your start programs or within your program file sections You've got Vegas Pro 17 for the shortcut there and then it's in there. Now all that happens when I press that button is that it launches Vegas Pro and I can get into the video editing. You can do other things that are more complicated than this and I'll show you that a bit later on but you can use that for all sorts of other things. You can also set it to open particular folders on your PC which is obviously useful if you keep your videos in the same place all the time. Now for most of the other commands I just use the hotkey under the system thing and this basically allows you to record essentially what is macros, either simple button presses or multiple button presses. So for the first basic one, S is the key that I usually use to split tracks. Now once I've assigned that you can then find an icon and I found these icons online, you can do the same to then assign it. So I've got one specifically for split that looks like the split that you'd normally see as an icon within Vegas or other video editing software and now I know that when I press that that will split the tracks. You can then go through and add the other ones in. Now things like copy and paste and cut might seem a bit obvious and a bit basic and obviously you can use shortcuts on your keyboard but the thing is you've got access to multiple buttons with ease on the stream deck that mean you don't have to move your hands as much on the keyboard it's a lot quicker to just have these presses and I've actually found this is streamlined the way I do my video editing and made it a lot easier and more convenient and once you get into more complicated things obviously multiple shortcuts keys that require multiple presses then this becomes even more useful and you start to think about new ways to use it so I've set up with the basics here as I said split cut paste and other things and 
it's really handy to have these sorts of things in something like Alt S, which is Smart Split and Vegas Pro, another simple command that you could use keyboard shortcuts for, but it's just as easy to press that button. And it's really great to be able to do this really quickly and easily. And because you can folder these commands, you could obviously set ones that vary depending on what you're doing. So you could have a folder that just contains your color grading buttons that you use on that and ones for sound editing or video effects and things like that too. So there's plenty of different options here. These are just a basic level. You'll see I have something here for multicam editing. So control shift and D that switches into multi camera view. So if I'm recording more than one track to do regularly, I can then quickly activate a view so I can see the two screens or more at once. I can then do things like markers. So in Vegas Pro, that's what this looks like. If I drop a marker there and then I press that button on the stream deck, it then adds a marker in on the tracks so that I know where I want to edit or make a change or add in a voice command when I'm doing the voiceovers. And then I can insert an audio envelope as well with another button press. That's something that's usually a right click on the mouse, find it in the menu scroll through and then another click so it takes a bit of time whereas now it's just a single press and it's really easy to do. Other things as well include simple commands for editing or uh, cutting the beginning of a track, anything that you can think of that involves these commands. You can see here normally I'd right click on them and then you could do things like uh, trim the start, trim the end, anything that requires multiple button presses can now be construed and put into a single button press and it makes life a lot simpler. Even the menus at the top, you can see the Control Shift D for multi-camera editing, for example, would usually require a couple of menus or multiple key presses on the keyboard. So this then lets you do that. One thing I have found that I can't do just yet is video event FX, because unfortunately you can't set it to register right mouse button clicks. However, you can do other things, as you'll see. If I drag in the hotkey, command into here. If you go down into the hotkey, click to assign, you click on the little arrow on the right, you can see all the different commands that you can put in. You can access them from there and then just click on them and set them up. And this allows you to customize it in a variety of different ways. And such a straightforward, simple little addition to your video editing software. And if you're already using Stream Deck for other things, then this is really useful for that too. Another thing you can do is within Stream Deck commands, you can set up multi-action. Now multi-action is a single button press that then activates multiple different things. As an example, when I'm using it for streaming, I have a button that, that I press for multi-action that turns on my key lights, turns on my office lights, opens up YouTube Studio, opens up Discord, opens up Streamlabs OBS, all with a single press. You can do this sort of thing in Vegas too. So for example, here I've set it to cut, paste, and then go back to the beginning of the track and things like that. You can obviously choose the way you want to do it, whatever you want to do. A simple multi-action command, for example, you could just press that button, have it launch Vegas Pro, have it open the folder that you usually use for video editing, have it open the folder that you might use for your music, uh, one that have voiceover files. I have all those different commands set up and that's really useful. You can see the sheer power of the Stream Deck and what it can be used for for video editing and hopefully this gives you some inspiration. Hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting or hilarious. Be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos as well as taking a look in the description for links and Ember information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this and have a great life.